Uh, hey loves and <laughs> welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your own at home set now this is amazing if you're someone who's trying to figure out how you can create your own filming studio how you can create your own filming space for youtube in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my tips all of my favorite equipment that are beginner friendly but also budget friendly these are tools that i take with me everywhere that i go and i'm going to be showing you guys everything so if you are interested they definitely don't want to keep on watching. So three things that I like to think are very important when it comes to creating content. Your video quality, the lighting, as well as the audio. These three things kind of make up the entire um, content you're creating. So you always want to make sure that you consider these three things the lighting the recording device or the recording quality that you're currently shooting in as well as the audio check mic check <laughs> because these three things mix up a high quality content okay so if you're someone who is trying to create like lifestyle beauty sit down vlog whatever content it is travel content um some of the equipment i'm going to be showing you are very essential especially if you are on the go you're starting off you want it to be budget friendly at the same time guys these are my to go and on the go <laughs> equipment and tools and i'm going to be sharing all that with you guys but the first thing i want to talk about and the first and most important thing that i want to talk about is obviously the camera <laughs> But if you're trying to create like digital content whether it's video picture you need some sort of recording device and for me i feel like the best and the easiest to start off with is always your mobile phone these now creates such amazing high quality content you can have like your mobile phone shooting 4k 8k and they just look so amazing now again if you guys watch some of this clip some of my bureaus were shot using my mobile phone i'm going to leave it linked somewhere so you guys can see the quality that it does produce it's such an amazing quality make sure you're always filming and the high quality i'll leave a link up here so you guys can check my video on how to film high quality video content using your mobile phone i talk about all the equipment the gears that you can use to really elevate your content especially when you're filming on your mobile phone however if you want to upgrade to a pro level you can always get yourself a dslr camera and mirrorless camera and create amazing bomb quality at the same time the one i'm currently using is the canon m6 mark ii i talk about this camera a lot because it's like my it's like my transitional camera but also it is future proof in the sense that it can record in 4k and obviously 4k is now the future and yeah i love this camera it is very portable it's very affordable and it's also very beginner friendly at the same time what i love about this too the phone and the camera that i'm currently using is that they are so compact and they are so portable that you can actually use it to create like sit down content like this but also use it to create vlog style content, travel content, because they are so portable and you can easily slip it into your bag, your pocket, and just create, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so secondly, let's talk about lighting. Now, if you've watched any of my videos you probably would have heard me rave about natural lighting and to be honest with you this is the best source of lighting when it comes to filming and that's why you see like vlog contents they always look amazing anytime it's been shot during the daytime so currently i'm using just my window light and this is such an amazing source of lighting when it comes to video recording picture taking because it just gives you that flawless glow even out um lighting at the same time and it's such an amazing budget friendly free alternative to creating content so if you have a huge window in your living room, bedroom, wherever you want to set up, natural lighting, natural sunlight is going to be your best bet, right? Because it's going to help with like lighting up yourself and also your entire scene. However, if you don't have natural lighting, the second best bet is to use artificial lighting. And I love LED lighting. I love this one most especially because this one is powered by the AA batteries. It's also powered by the normal Sony NPF batteries. And it is amazing because it's also powered by a DC AC adapter. So you have different power sources to help power this little but still very effective lighting. 
it is also flexible it can tilt to different degrees let me just show you guys how bright this lights up the entire scene right so you guys can see what it looks like directed on my face you can see how bright this very little and very compact lighting is so i'm just going to screw this on my camera just to create like a very minimal light setup and this is what we get when i turn it on so you guys can see how powerful this is so again, this is a very minimal setup. You have your audio, you have your lighting, and you have your camera, and we're good to go. Now, you don't wanna forget stabilization because that's also going to help with improving the quality and the stability of your video content. Now for this, I'm gonna be using my regular tripod that I use for my camera. And this one is from a brand called Yun Teng. I think I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing it well. It's sturdy, I love how it rotates. It rotates 360 degree and it tilts um, to about, I think a 90 degree and it's so amazing. This is what it looks like right now. Now, I love to place this directly in front of my window just to get like that beautiful lighting setup if that is the source of lighting you're using. And I'm gonna show you an alternative for your mobile phone. Again, you do wanna pay attention to this. This one is from a brand called Benro and it's just my own preference because I already have a tripod stand. This is like a added supplement for me because this one is a tripod but also like a selfie stick. You can see how long it goes and how then dense and compact it reduces to. And I love to use this especially for vlogging with my phone and because this can tilt to about 360 degrees i can use this comfortably to vlog at whatever angle i want and it works for me i can also use this as my regular tripod but again this is not the most sturdy tripod ever to use for your phone and to record videos i like to use filmic pro because again with this i have flexibility with setting up my camera i can put on the guide and make sure that my camera is properly aligned and positioned like i'm doing right now and with this i can get like that cinematic flexible look and manual control over my phone camera all right guys so now let's talk about creating your background or a backdrop for your filming setup and if you guys know me or if you've watched any of my videos you know that i have dozens of videos relating to a backdrop or like creating a set now for this, I'm gonna be using my background because I love how it's looking. I'm just gonna take a chair and kind of create a scene. With this, you wanna add props, kind of add lifestyle objects, like to just kind of spice up your environment and your set, but also keep it on brand. This is what we're looking like and you can play around with it. Now, don't forget your microphone, guys. This microphone is my ride or die. This one is from Boya. And I use this for my computer. I use this on my DSLR. I use this on my phone. Check, mic check. <laughs> one, two, one, two. You always want to make sure that you're connected and that the audio is amazing at the same time. This is what it looks like filming with my mobile phone when I'm using just my natural lighting. And this is why I usually advise for natural lighting because it is so beautiful and it just diffuses the light on the skin so beautifully well. But this is what it looks like again. You definitely can start off from anywhere if you are a beginner, pro, whatever. Your phone is always pretty much the best place to start off from. Let me switch the lens so you guys can see what I'm talking about so now we should be let me hide my microphone this is bts real life stuff okay okay so now we should look a little bit cropped in which should in general look a lot better than it previously did now you guys can focus more on me and less on the environment because again this is more or less like a sit down talk video as opposed to like a vlog style content so you guys can definitely get what i'm talking about so this is me just test running it depending on the kind of content you're creating if you're creating like a vlog kind of content 
this would be perfect again we're standing directly in front of the window again you don't want to stand like this you always want to stand or you want to always place your camera just in front of your light so so that way you are properly lit okay so now all that's left is for you to have fun filming now with this setup you just need to use what you already have and make it work at the same time you need to know how to maximize all that you have and create your amazing setup and filming environment now i hope this was helpful i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please stick around with me and subscribe to my channel watch my next video in case you guys are interested in learning how to film using your mobile phone or how to create your own at home affordable studio i've got you covered i have an entire playlist do check it out do enjoy and do learn bye